dear friends, uh, here we are again uh, for this week's video. This is another uh, episode in the series about uh, creating your own tone. Okay, many of you have been asking me how to obtain uh, a, a reliable and uh, pleasant acoustic sound using uh, our electric guitar. Uh, it's very important, in particular, if you are a beginner and you don't have to, so many guitars, you want to understand if you really like uh, acoustic and you would like to, to share to, to another one, if you don't have one, or even to evaluate, uh, to, to, to obtain that kind of feeling of specific uh, songs that are maybe not your favorite usually. Uh, so it's a, a good uh, good idea to have this and frankly speaking it is one of the questions I made myself immediately because uh, by the way I started playing uh, uh, electric not acoustic and uh, then I desired to, to simulate that acoustic sound that I found to be really full and really pleasant well the first uh, the, the short story is uh, you cannot so, yeah, I know. I don't want uh, to disappoint you. I just want uh, to let you understand uh, the top the, the point uh, and here I have an electric guitar. I'm not going to show you an acoustic today because mine uh, is under repair by my luthier. So for the moment, I will just explain some concepts. But consider that uh, it is important to understand uh, the main differences between an acoustic and an electric that can that affect greatly the, the tone. Of course, uh, first of all, the strings. The strings uh, in uh, acoustic uh, are, uh, generally speaking, uh, bigger size so the gauge of the strings uh, is bigger compared to electric in electric guitars uh, the standard the most used size uh, is 1046 uh, like in this guitar but in particular in uh, metal you will understand why uh, metal or some kind of hard rock it is uh, uh, often preferred to use uh, sl smaller uh, smaller strings like 942 uh, 839 or something like that because uh, there are some advantages but one of those is also the tone obtained by the size of the screen simply by the size generally speaking um, smaller sizes of string okay they plays less so the volume is lower generally speaking but also the tone tend to be darker to have less to be less bright compared to a bigger string in uh, acoustic guitar uh, you tend to use uh, bigger strings uh, first of all for the volume because uh, consider that uh, the natural resonation of the strings in the, is the only um, possibility to obtain uh, the, the sound from from the guitar it's uh, analogic it's not amplified generally speaking of course uh, and so it is important that the strings uh, provide uh, a, a high volume simply speaking Using this kind of size also make the sound brighter and also this is appreciated using an acoustic guitar. But consider that uh, if we compare this to, to an electric, we have uh, immediately a difference. It's not finished because also the material of the strings is greatly different. Because of the use of magnetic pickups, uh, like uh, in this one, uh, electric guitars uh, tend to use uh, um, stainless steel or nickel or a combination of the two in the strings this way the the effect on the magnetic field of the pickup is better and you obtain the the best sound uh, possible from this kind of combination <laughs> consider at least the state of the art what we know at the moment for an acoustic guitar uh, they tend to use other kind of um, of a mix of materials that are completely different but have also a different sound uh, that is uh, very very easy to to feel when you play the guitar without amplification so just so you hear the resonation when it is turned off you, you it is immediately easy to tell that the electric guitar tends to sound a little more metallic a little more um, I don't know how to say, less uh, f full of, uh, of frequencies, so it's uh, less pleasant as a sound when played uh, turned off. For the acoustic, it is important to use a string that provides the best combination of sounds, so that is the main, the main one, one of the reasons. So different material, different size, and we have just already a big difference. Then there is uh, the most important one, the wood. For uh, 
uh, electric guitar the wood is important it can affect the tone uh, there are a lot of conversations about that uh, in different uh, areas uh, and you can feel it mm, you, you can google it and you will find that there are <laughs> completely uh, different op opinion there is somebody that tells that it match that it means nothing somebody else that tells that that is the most important thing to consider in an electric guitar personally considering my comparison i think that it can be important but the pickups are much 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 more important the wood can affect in particular sustain attack attach so the, 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 the how you feel when playing but for the what you hear with the, the ears it's not so not so important as somebody wants to tell you for an electric guitar for the acoustic guitar is probably the most important thing because consider that uh, the great the sound that you hear is not directly from the string but it is resonating in the sound box and uh, it is resonating with the harmonic table that you have on the front of the acoustic guitar and that one uh, can can for sure affect uh, the tone you can obtain because uh, uh, the different kind of wood uh, if it can includes uh, humidity or so how it was cut uh, makes uh, makes it resonate to different frequencies and you get a completely different uh, outcome from different acoustic guitar that's why it's probably more important to invest on a specific kind of wood that you like in an acoustic guitar compared to, to, to an electric so being said this uh, uh, well, in a moment uh, I will also show you how I set it up uh, the guitar uh, for uh, this kind of test. Just uh, let's uh, see some samples. Now, let's speak for a moment about the setup in your guitar. What guitar to choose and how to set it up to obtain the most satisfying acoustic sound that we can simulate. Of course, the effect is affected by the modeler, so we will be using Mighty Plug Pro as usual, and Mighty Air, as we did in previous videos. So after some other, <laughs> after this, this part, I will explain you uh, how I created the, the, the setup, the, the, the preset that I will be sharing in the description of the video as usual. Uh, but consider that um, it is also important that the kind of guitar you select, also by, for the feeling when you play. In particular, uh, I picked this one because of the single coil uh, 
pickups. In my opinion, the uh, single coil pickups uh, are better for an acoustic sound, in particular when you play, because you feel it better under the string, the attack is different, they are more reactive compared to unbuckers. I don't mean that you cannot obtain a good sound with the unbuckers. That's not the case. You can experiment, and frankly speaking, for example, using my PRS that only has unbuckers, I was able to obtain a sound that is very close to what you will hear in the um, in the sample. So I think that the preset can be used maybe with some fine tuning also for different combinations. But for the playability, in particular, if you want to experiment finger style or something like that, I prefer the, um, the, the, the reactivity, the, the attack of the, the single coils, because uh, it makes it easier probably to play that uh, specific sound. Uh, of course, uh, consider that uh, the main sound uh, in an acoustic is collected by the hole uh, in the harmonic uh, about uh, in this area. So you see that uh, the closest unbucker to that position is the neck one. It's not a matter of position, but it's a matter of uh, how wide the strings uh, vibrate. Consider that uh, between uh, the, um, the bridge and uh, and the uh, and the nuts, uh, there is uh, a static uh, um, uh, wave that is vibrating uh, when you pick the, uh, the string. And uh, in of course, uh, the widest uh, movement is uh, at, in the middle. And then uh, this, uh, the closer you get to one of the fixed points, uh, the shorter is the movement. That's why, generally speaking, when you select the bridge, um, the bridge uh, pickup, you obtain a more defined sound because uh, the vibration is short. There is, uh, uh, and and it is good to, in particular, for distortion because this way you have uh, you can distinguish any any sound. But here you have more vibration that uh, also corresponds, generally speaking, to a wider range of frequencies, in particular bus and average and middle frequencies. But considering the position, the vibration for acoustic guitar has been selected to be to collect this sound, and we are doing the same. So, in my opinion, you should select a neck um, pickup. So, move your selector to obtain this effect if you want it. Or if you have, for example, a Strat-like uh, guitar that has a single, single, or something else uh, in the bridge, you can select position one, so the first one, or position two, the combination of the two, uh, of the two pickups. Uh, with some, for example, Ibanez guitars that are that have uh, there are H S H, so they have an unbucker, a single in the mid middle position, and in unbuck and unbucker in the neck. The best result, in my opinion, is uh, obtained nevertheless selecting the uh, the single coil pickup that is uh, in the middle, if it is a little um, closer to the bridge compared to, compared to this one. But this is one of the, eff the important effect to have. Also, we discussed, uh, we spoke about uh, the strings. This one has a 1046. I tried with some 942 strings, and I can assure you that the result is much less uh, uh, very similar, in my opinion. So I would suggest to use the guitar with the biggest string you have available. This way, you are getting closer to the reaction you, you would expect from, uh, from the from the kind of guitar. Then consider also how you play your right guitar, your right hand, sorry. You need to play it uh, more or less in this area, not too close to the bridge, not too close to the string. But this is also a suggestion that any teacher gives uh, when you try to learn uh, acoustic guitar. They tell you to play. If you play more close to the neck, they, told, they tell you that uh, you obtain a warmer sound. If you play closer to the bridge, you obtain a more, um, I would say, a more picky sound, a, a sound that is more adapted for strong and well-defined uh, situation, maybe even brighter. And that is exactly what you obtain selecting different pickups in an electric guitar. But generally speaking, you play more or less in the middle. So that's uh, something to consider. Consider that when you play, the, what you do with your hands uh, is really important because if you play too strong or less strong, the dynamic, uh, if you simulate an acoustic, is very important. So you need to, to use your right, right hand uh, really 
really well. Also, for your left hand, it's important. If you press uh, the fingers uh, uh, too far from the frets, uh, you, you, you will hear it. It will, be, it will sound like a, fa um, like a defect, like in an acoustic guitar. So using this kind of the simulation we show you, you will uh, <laughs> hear the, sim the, the, the same problem that you, can obtain, that you can face when using a real acoustic guitar. That is fantastic for practice because uh, it doesn't uh, forgive you any mistake and makes it easier to learn. Also, you will learn to press correctly the finger because if the, your frets are big and you press hard the, the, the string, you pull it, you, you add tension to that one because you create an angle and so the intonation is changed and that is something that you need to remember. So consider also how you use your hands and play with your tone. Uh, this, uh, the preset I'm going to show you is... Uh, um, favoring uh, brightness impossible but also i pushed uh, a lot of bass because i want to obtain that sort of woody sound that you are missing when playing an electric guitar compared to an acoustic it's not exactly the same but it gives you a similar kind of feeling with your tone in particular if you close it you can get even closer to that kind of effort but the, of course the drawback is that you are losing some, some definition. But nevertheless, I think that, just to reason, if you select a guitar that has a single coil in the neck, so like this one, like a Strat, like an HSS, if you have it, or in the middle, select, in my opinion, the single coil. Pick up the closer you can to the, to the neck and uh, play with your tone to obtain uh, a, good, uh, a good result uh, and uh, play it like it was an acoustic, of course. After another short series of samples, let's see how to obtain that sound using our NUX devices. So the faithful your NUX Mighty Air and our NUX Mighty Plug Pro. So first of all, as usual, let's start the Mighty Air. Consider that this preset is also valid for the Mighty Plug MP2. So don't forget that you're not needing to create another one. I named it uh, TJ Average Acoustic because it's an acoustic that doesn't favor brightness uh, or uh, treble or bass. It's, uh, it's trying to simulate uh, a simple, very common acoustic guitars uh, without uh, showing uh, any stress uh, on that. So uh, make sh make um, it is, in my opinion, quite uh, usable. Of course, uh, you can fine tune it and obtain probably even better results, or you can favor whatever you 
you prefer as a, an, a final outcome of this of this uh, uh, combination. So, sorry, there are some. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, so very quickly, mm, you see that a lot of effect blocks are turned off because what we want to obtain is a guitar simulation, nothing uh, particular. Uh, we, we don't want to have too many effects. We just want to have something that can be usable and similar to what we would obtain uh, putting our, uh, our collecting or our, our acoustic guitar in the input of our of our um, amplifier and just uh, simply playing it. So let's have a look. Very simple noise gate. I suggested you to use uh, single coil um, pickups, uh, so maybe noise gate can be helpful. We don't want to push it too hard because we don't want to lose uh, any dynamic. Uh, that is very important when playing acoustic guitar. So you see that the threshold and the sustain are at 10%. So it's a really, really low. Um, Noise gate is only effective if there is a, a slight hum. If you are in, a, in an area where uh, uh, electromagnetic interferences are very strong, uh, just move away because uh, uh, I'm not suggesting you to uh, strengthen too much the, the gate, uh, the noise gate. If you can, uh, maybe turn it even off because it's uh, really a, war a bad situation if you lose some dynamic that in this kind of simulation, the simulation is incredibly important. The effect blocks is turned off because we don't need it in my opinion. For the amplifier, of course, we need to, to select an amplifier that simulates um, that that's, uh, in, uh, the simulation of an acoustic amplifier. If you are using my tier amp, the application I'm using now, and you know for sure that is uh, my favorite uh, since a long time. And um, you will have also this kind of uh, separation. You see that uh, Tuntori, the developer of this fantastic app, already grouped the amplifier by, by um, topic, clean, drive, best amplifier. And for the acoustic, you see for Mighty Air, we only have one, that is a stagement, the, the, the standard stagement. Of course, you need to select this one. For the um, settings, you see that I push the gain and level the high, uh, at the, the top. This is just to obtain a high volume. Consider that gain for this kind of amplifier is similar to presence for other kind for electric uh, amplifiers. So it gives you more strength, more fullness of the in the sound. But I have to tell you that this uh, makes it uh, feel more that it is amplified and less uh, the natural sound of the of a sort of, of acoustic. So if you want that specific feeling, in particular if you are hearing it with uh, with your earphones, and so you can uh, have an idea of all the frequencies, I would suggest to lower the gain. But for the moment, I will provide a preset this way. And that is exactly what I have been using for the samples you have heard. Gain at 100%, level at 100%. Then, as I told you before, I'm, I push the best to try and compensate the mix, missing uh, um, sound, sound box. So it's uh, 68, 70%. Middle, 30%. And treble, 40%. I created a sort of hole in the frequencies, so I reduced middle and favored bass over everything and treble slightly, just to make it possible to hear the, 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 the combination that you always have with an acoustic guitar between the treble that is coming from directly from the string and the bass, the very full sound that is normally coming from, from the wood or from the sound box. So very easy. For impulse response, of course, as well, we need to select something in the in the list. Uh, again, Tuntori group them: electric IR, bass IR, acoustic IR, IR or so. Okay. In the the, the, the strange difference between uh, uh, Mighty Plug Pro and uh, Mighty Air Mighty Plug 2 is that uh, Mighty Plug Pro has much less uh, IRs, or, or at least uh, much less. Uh, preloaded IRs for uh, um, acoustic compared to, to Mighty Air. In Mighty Air you see that we have uh, uh, seven possibilities and uh, this, uh, in, instead in uh, Mighty Plug Pro we have only two, but that's not a, a big deal. 
looking at the list you find here, I preferred the simulation of this Martin D45, that is the third selection in the list, the one at the moment, because in my opinion gives the best combination between it's bright, it's clear, and it sounds to me, at least with my setup, uh, it sounds uh, to me like a uh, real acoustic and as, again this is what you will hear from uh, the samples i recorded but a good second choice in my opinion is the simulation of the gibson hummingbird because uh, it's also very um, very pleasant a little too bright to traveling for me in this case probably i would even reduce travels or increase again a bass and, um, and middles to use this one but they are quite comparable at least in the definition that is very good in my opinion in both situations of course uh, the elaboration the dsp cannot uh, elaborate too much so don't expect as i tell, told you at the beginning don't expect to obtain exactly an acoustic sound it will never be like that but you can get close enough in my opinion so let's return to, to preselect here no changes let's keep the level as it is if you need more volume feel free but it's not necessary to do it and uh, no modification no modulation no delay some kind of reverb you know that generally when you play an acoustic guitar amplified you always had some reverb in this case you will see that i was not so light in that because in my opinion it gives fullness to to the sound and maybe this can affect the if you could be more faithful to the uh, unplugged uh, result uh, if you reduce uh, this uh, this delay but uh, the in the end uh, what you will hear from the recording of famous songs uh, will require that because because it is always used even with uh, the acoustic guitar so i've selected the room reverb that is the closest one it doesn't become too wide it doesn't feel uh, uh, like uh, a very big area that can be can be strange uh, sounding when used like that so i prefer this one is the most uh, i would say natural when you want to use it decay around 65 percent so very slow you are you will hear it for a long time but the mix not so strong we don't want to be to run it to be overwhelming compared to the regular sound because this way you would obtain also confusion in particular when strumming so 25 percent i wouldn't push it uh, higher than this and for the tone 50 percent uh, because this way it matches quite well the, the frequencies that you can obtain by the regular sound to me it sounds uh, really natural that's why i'm suggesting you to use uh, this particular combination
are again so let's uh, quickly see how to obtain the same effect we have obtained before with the mighty air also on the mighty plug pro is already turned on and connected the color is different because i try to use the same position as a concept in the compared with the new x presets that you will find when you factory reset the, the system but let's have a look it's very very similar to what we did with uh, with my tier so i will go very quickly through this again noise gate sensitivity 10 percent decay 10 percent full copy about what you obtain there no compressor we don't want to lose dynamic no modif no modulation no effects for the amplifier again stagement with the same regulation gain and master at 100 percent bus at 70 percent middle at 30 percent treble at 40 percent for ir for ir as i mentioned before for acoustic in the mighty plug pro you only have three possibilities compared to the seven that you have in mighty plug pro of course you can upload your favorite uh, IRs uh, and you can find something very very good uh, in uh, online so it's uh, a great improvement that this uh, small <laughs> beast can uh, can provide to this but we are speaking about what you will find when you turn on the first in the first place uh, the, the system I uh, you may remember that for the um, Nuex Mighty Air, I, I used a sort of Martin simulator as my first choice, but the, a good second was uh, the, the Gibson with Hummingbird uh, combination. That is what you lo will obtain with the first selection here. So pick it, and uh, for the regulation, again, the level is at zero, and uh, keep the range the wider possible. So low cut 20 Hz, high cut 20,000, so minimum and maximum, not to lose any frequency. And in the end, reverb again, like for my here, reverb room level 65%, decay 25%, and tone 50%. Oh, sorry, by the way, <laughs> you may say I made a mistake because here it should be inverted because level should be like this and should be like this. Well, fixing it before sharing it. So, level that is mix for my here 25%, decay. 65% and tone and 50%. I can confirm that you can obtain exactly the same sound. Maybe with new X in particular, if you use uh, good uh, uh, headphones, it is even better. And it could feel a little too bassy. So in case, uh, remove some bass uh, from uh, the amplifier if it is too strong for you. It depends on what you're using as your headphones. So you need to make uh, some kind of fine tuning to obtain the best, uh, the best result. And so we are at the end of this uh, of today's video. I hope you found uh, found it uh, useful. Uh, well, again, like for previous uh, previous interaction with previous episodes, I will make available the presets I have been sharing manually. I would say so step by step in this video in the description below. So make sure to to click on the link. By the way, this time I would like to upload it in Luca Di Bella's website. You will find the link again, as I said. is one of the users uh, uh, we have been sharing uh, contents uh, with in the Facebook group. And he created a very pleasant website where all the presets are grouped by genre, by, de by device. Uh, I'm referring to that. It is focused on UX devices, but not, not only this ones. So you will find presets for Mighty Air, Mighty Plug, Mighty Plug Pro, Mighty Space, but also for UX MG30 and other devices that are maybe, I would say, more professional than this one or even or more powerful. <laughs> That's probably the, 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 the best description. So again, uh, I hope that you found that you were are happy with the content uh, I'm creating. So if you feel that uh, it is interesting, you want to be informed about uh, new um, new publications, uh, just subscribe to, to the channel. That uh, This way you will be notified when something new is published. Uh, if you have uh, questions, comments, uh, something to, uh, to, to let me know, please write in the comments below. I really appreciate it, uh, even critics, because uh, if they are, of course, uh, with a good purpose, because uh, uh, there is always room for improvement. I'm happy to get feedback, uh, even if it is negative. If you want uh, to, to, to tell me just uh, to fix something, I will be more than happy to evaluate your, your suggestion. 
leave a like if you think that it was uh, pleasant and interesting for you uh, well i have to do to to give you a bad news frankly speaking for me because i will need to take a short pause for for a couple of weeks i will not be able to publish anything because i need to leave my country for for a few weeks and i will not be able to to record anything you know i'm doing this in my sp uh, very limited spare time so i will have to to, to take a short break Probably I will be, uh, it will be possible for me to share some uh, shorts to, to, to keep you updated on the, the, the new publication that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to provide. In the meantime, I'm renewing to you the invitation again to subscribe, leave a like, let me know your idea. But in any case, have fun with my contents, with my video and in particular with your guitar. Bye bye.